Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to Memoria. When we last left off, we were able to track down our little uh, rabbit thief here, or guide supposedly, uh, Rashwan. I think that's how he says his name. Anyway, but he uh, seems to have gotten tied up, as it were, by these Amazonian ladies here. And uh, we did talk to these, we did have a little bit of an exchange with these ladies, and... Basically, I can't remember what we're supposed to do here, but basically we are going to get out of this situation, I guess. Because what we need is we need all of our stuff back, because this is all we have. I don't know why he left the mask on us, because that seems like it's a pretty big deal, but he did take our ruby and everything else we had in our inventory. And, uh, yeah, so it's time to get all of our stuff back. So, let's, uh start with talking to the old Amazon here. Well, take a, let's take a look at her, because she was stabbed by Rashwan with a poison dagger, so that's why she's kind of injured like that. Rashwan first slashed her horse, and then poisoned her with his blade. I can barely imagine what a dirty fight it must have been. Yes, I do remember the horse. That was pretty gruesome, actually. As long as she's lying here, the girl will be occupied. Okay, so that means that we can do stuff without them noticing, hopefully. Let's uh, take a look at the young Amazon. She's so young, certainly not older than 15. Hmm, okay. Well, she did seem pretty confident in her abilities anyway uh, in the last episode, so she must be pretty talented with the bow anyway. Let's see, yeah, we need... That's right, because we need him to guide us to our destination, so... Alright, let's take a look around and see what we have going on here. We do have this large waterfall. The Amazons are using the shade and the noise of the mighty waterfall for cover. Hmm, okay. I won't drink until I know I'm safe here. Good call, good call. There's a flaming lion engraved on the shield, the sign of the goddess Rondra. You're serious about taking the armor of those battle clerics? No, that would be foolish. I was just thinking about what I'm going to wear when I go to war, and whether we're going to fight side by side. You really cannot wait to die, hmm? If you don't understand, then shut up. I am having a hard time understanding myself, so... <laughs> Let's see. Let's uh, look at Rahwan. Bring me his necklace, and I'll show you something. Okay. There's the necklace, I think. Dangling down there. You can barely see it. I need your necklace. Stay away from the Fakino. <laughs> yeah, it's dangling right right there. Bring me his... I can't grab his necklace because she'll stop me. Uh, this lady is stopping me. So let's see what else do we have on the screen. Ooh. Okay, so there's lots of little paintings on here. Let's, uh, the images were carved into the rock and then painted. Pretty! Yes, very pretty. An apple is hanging from a tree and a man is picking it. Okay, let's take a look at the campfire. The images were carved into the... Pretty! A group of people peacefully sitting by a fire. Okay, the hunt. Two men hunting some kind of misshapen beast. <laughs> uh, how about the dragon? The image of a dragon. A man with a spear. The painting shows a woman with a child in her arms. Interesting. It looks like there's a little painting down here, or it was maybe at one point. Doesn't seem like there's anything else I can do here, so I guess let's uh, head up. I don't really see anything, so... I'm assuming we need to find a way to distract her so we can grab his necklace. Okay. The two branches are entangled and pushing each other up. How unusual. Yeah, that is very unusual. It's like a trap almost. So if I were to see what happens if I try to untangle them. I can't get the branches apart with my bare hands. Okay, let's try our trusty dagger on them. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what that did, per se, but... I mean, I 
No, it did, but I'm not sure why lowering him down is anything helpful. So let's go back down, I guess. I wonder if it's something where... It's just a small <coughs> branch of the waterfall. I won't drink until I free. Okay. I'm kind of wondering if like we have to drop him down enough so that his necklace gets washed down and then we catch it or something. Like if we were to put this branch down here. If I toss my things in the river here, I'll never see them again. Okay. I see what you're doing and I advise you to leave it be. Hmm. I have to do that more indirectly. Okay. Oh, what if we just uh, stab the young Amazon? I have to treat her wounds. Okay. I guess not. Oh, there's a stone right here. Another stone. I could have sworn I uh, hovered over that, but I guess not. Can we pick it up? We can. Another stone. Okay. Alright, so I kind of dammed up the uh, water there, just a little bit. Still not quite sure. What I'm doing yet here. So now this is completely, uh, whatever I did, that was all I needed to do. I mean, I know what I did, sorry. Putting this stone there is all I needed to do. And I have to sneeze. Ugh, I apologize. I hope that was not too deafening. <laughs> Let's see, what else do we have here? I wonder if we have to use a staff on something here. I can't reach that. Okay. Oh, sorry, this is what I meant to do. I can't reach that. Oh, interesting, okay. I'm going to hit the space bar here because I am out of, it seems like I'm out of options of what I can interact with. There's all the different paintings. There's that. And the yep, so I did actually uh, go over everything I can. So now I guess it's just a matter of experimenting with things. Can we light the branch? I better not do that in my pocket. Yeah, probably a good idea. I can't reach. I think I can find a better use for that. Hmm. I feel like the necklace is actually almost in the water, it looks like. Why can't you do it from this side of the. I see what you and yep. I. Hmm. Yep, yep, I know. I wonder why she can't do it from this side. I don't see any connection. I don't either. I was just trying stuff. <sighs> Let's see. Hmm. That probably isn't magical enough. Okay, I guess the lady isn't magical enough. I can't read. Okay. So she can't... I can't... Alright, so there's no... At least nothing immediately that I can see about with the helmet and the shield, what to do with that. We can't interact with a rope. That's not something we can do. Um, let's see. I wonder if there is a way of knocking off his because if we can't like directly because she said uh she can't hit the branch or she'll catch her the young amazon will catch sadia 
if I just directly hit it with the branch, hit the necklace. So I wonder if I could just drop it from here and it will flow down and then it will just knock the necklace off of his neck right there. Because everything else will be too heavy, the staff is too big, the stones of this mask and flints will just sink, and the dagger will just sink too. So, really, the only thing I have is the branch. So, I'm going to try that. Alright, that worked. Good. Now I can take his necklace. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, though, but. Thanks. Perhaps you remember the vision I sent you in the burial chamber as an explanation for the blood ritual. Oh. You mean the image of my bleeding hand, the smoldering incense bowl, and you? Correct. Well, you can't talk to the prisoner since the girl would get suspicious. But you could send him a vision and ask him to get on good terms with her. And how? With the spell of vision sending, which I now place in your hands. Okay, so now we have a new spell. <laughs> this game has gotten a lot more complicated. Cast it on the <laughs> necklace in your bag, and I'll explain the rest. Okay. Rahwan's necklace. Rahwan. So if I were to send vision, click the necklace. The spell works only on someone you have a personal item from. And you can only send visions of things which are nearby by using three visions only. You can tell the prisoner that he should get on the good side of the Amazon. Using three visions only? Yes. Direct his attention to his tormentor, then to him, and finally to a symbol for friendship and sociability. He will, without fail, associate these three things with one another. He can't defend himself against it. The order of the visions does not matter. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so... Alright. So a vision of his tormentor first, which is the young Amazon. And then... Oh, shoot. I forgot what I needed to do. <laughs> Friendship. So probably this campfire. Because that's the only thing here that these people are like look like they're hunting or something. Well, this guy was like hunting the drake, and that's a mom and a baby. And that was a hunting thing. Oh, this was the hunting one, and this one was just a dragon and a man. And this one was uh, people gathering together. And this is a harvest one, so this is probably the symbol for friendship right here. And then. Rahwan himself? I don't know. Aligluk Zulos Asasha. Shut up! Hmm. It didn't work. Wait for it. Zul Asasha. Please do me a favor. Take this piece of cloth from my cloak and gag the Fakina. No daughter of Rondra deserves such abuse. Okay. That didn't work. <laughs> uh. Okay. So now what? So if I just put this on the ground, is that... Nope. Alright, so piece of cloth. And then... So now we have to basically tell the young Amazon to help Rahwan. Okay, so... Rahwan will basically... Let's see, so Rahwan... And then one of these pictures here, something that will show her that he can help, maybe knows the antidote or something for the poison in the old the old Amazon. So 
click on her because she's going to be the target. And then maybe the I suppose the harvest uh, the the fruit one since that would make the most sense out of these as far as maybe like an antidote that this guy maybe knows. That's my assumption of what we're supposed to do. He hangs from the tree like a fruit. A sour, inedible fruit. Okay, that didn't work. Hmm. I guess we'll just have to keep sending visions here. Since that's a personal item of hers. So... What if I did something like... Helping the old Amazon. And then she can get better. Or she can go back to fighting and then the fruit will help her. Because uh, Rakwan is dangling like a piece of fruit. Rondra wants me to pick something from a tree? But what? Okay, I see. The fruit is representing... Okay, I get it now. The fruit is representing... Rakwan. That took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> I get it now. Okay, so that's why we... That's why the fruit... They keep saying that there's dangling and he's the only thing that's dangling here like a piece of fruit. And that they should take him off of the line. Okay, that makes sense. That's why she's saying that. Okay. So let's try this one more time then. And then... So cut off the piece of fruit. Or take down Rockwan basically. And then... Yeah, take down Rakwad. We've already tried the Amazon, but we haven't tried this combination of the helmet or the helmet and shield, Rakwan and the fruit. So let's try that. What is it? I, I had a vision from my goddess. She instructed me to pluck the prisoner from the tree like an apple. I must follow her command, but I need your help. What should I do? I fear for my sister should I let him go here. Take my horse, which you'll find behind the waterfall, and carry the prisoner up the hill. Once you're far enough away, let him go and send the horse back to me. You can count on me. Thank you. Okay. Right. There we are. I'll let you go. And in return... You must keep your promise and guide me to Draconia. Agreed? <sighs> Agreed. Then hold still, so I can free you from your bonds. Okay. What's uh, Oh, we got all of our stuff back. There's our ruby. And I guess that's it. No rabbit, though, because he ate it already. Jerk. Alright. Do you really want to do that? He already betrayed you once. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I think she's much more uh, conniving than the rock one could ever be. Oh boy. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, what did he do? Did he turn it to stone? He almost killed you! Didn't you say you knew what you were doing? Yes. <coughs> I fell, and you caught me. I just didn't know how you would do it. <coughs> so you can transform flesh into stone. It... it looks like it. Yes? I thank you. My hands! <laughs> and now to you. You know... I actually pitied you, the outcast for Kina, whose own people no longer want him, who had to subjugate himself to the laws of the city and sold his honor just to survive. 
But the moment you hit me over the head with that bone, you lost all my mercy. Yikes. I'm ordering you one last time to take me to Draconia. You'll feed me when I tell you, and you'll guard me when I sleep. Once I have arrived there safely, with the mask, only then will I restore your hands. My hands! That's right, you bastard. <laughs> and if you don't obey me, I'll transform the rest of you as well. My hands, they're stone! <laughs> yup. I think we've established that. <clears throat> Oh. The heck? Oh, that's right. Ah, very good. You're awake. You? What are you doing here? Where's the demon? Actually, I just came to fetch a few items, but I saw the two of you lying here, and I thought I'd build a fire. One chills so easily around here. Your haunted look tells me that you also have the dreams now. Yes? By Rashtul's curls. What a mess. Have you succeeded in solving the riddle in the meantime? No. I, I said that's right before because I couldn't remember how we actually got back to Sadia or, or whatever, however she says her name. Um, the, we were hunting a demon and the big tree had all, was the demon itself. If there was a big tree in the background back here. I don't it doesn't seem like it's there anymore. And that's how we uh basically got put into Sadia's world, basically, or the past, if you want if, if you will. Let's uh, talk to Fahi. Yeah, I also dreamed of Sadia. Believe me, I did not want that. I'm sorry. But it is not too late. Forget everything you have seen just as you would forget every other nightly dream. Why? What's so dangerous about it? Oh, Sadia's story itself is harmless. It's only the end which you must guard against. Huh. One who carelessly tackles the end is dealing with forces which were better left undisturbed. I don't understand a word. And it should remain that way. Okay. The demon? The demon is Sadia's magic staff, right? Or someone who has it, and thus also has its power to petrify people. Ah, then that was the scene in the Rashtulian wall which you just saw. Unsettling, isn't it? That poor girl, all alone in the wilderness. Don't try to dodge the subject. Garon, who or what has caused this calamity doesn't matter. Just solve my riddle, and everything will be as it was. Okay, and the riddle. How did the riddle go again? As the stone over the scarab, so rules the scarab over the stone. Enter, if to you the answer is known. If not, then forever your life I'll own. All we need is the answer, right? Okay, I suppose I could... ...guess the solution. I don't know what happens if I do. I haven't saved for a while, so <laughs> I hope uh I'm not sure. Uh I guess I can guess the solution. Let's try that. Isn't it obvious? The scarab stands for the beetle key, and the stone for the door to the tomb. Both are worthless without the other. But then why did the inscription only appear after the key was already in the lock? Besides, Sadia seemed quite alarmed when she read it. What did she know that we don't? Um, well, the ruby is the stone. Not sure what the hell that'll work with the rest of it, though. The stone is no mere rock. It's Sadia's ruby. She's a descendant of the mogul, and the ruby is an heirloom. She was planning to use it in some way. Hmm. An interesting idea. But it doesn't explain much. Well, as I see it, we haven't really come any further. Not if you leave me groping around in the dark. Geron, I'm just a simple merchant. I'm also your friend. If there's something I'm keeping from you, then I'm only doing it to protect you. I didn't ask for your protection. I want answers. The answers you seek are dangerous, Geron. I'm warning you. 
ignore the dream, stay away from Draconia, and beware the Garden of Oblivion. If you leave the gate to Draconia sealed, the visions will disappear on their own, and nothing bad will happen to you or your friend. But if you pursue this path, and make only one single mistake at the end, then a fate worse than death awaits you. On the other hand, if you just solve my riddle, then everything will be fine. Okay. But I don't <sighs> know the... Why don't you take care of her? Brider, get up. We've got him. What happened? What kind of dream was that? And by the gods, who made a fire here in the middle of the crime scene? <laughs> that was him. Blast! Where did he go? Oh, my head. Ryder, what do you know about a place called Draconia? It's an ancient fortress in the Rastulian Wall. Built by dragons. Alric Bodiak's speciality. Why? Because I'm tired of these games, and because I think we'll find our answers there. You're not a simple would-be hero, are you? No. Let's go home. I'll tell you everything on the way. Ooh, chapter four. Man, this game is getting more and more interesting every single time I play it. What a night. I can hardly keep my eyes open. How's your wing? Better. Good. Then let's try again. Do you remember... Alright, chapter 3 complete. Okay, so it looks like... Less dialogue options have happened here. I'm gonna go through these and then I think we end the episode because now I don't even know how long we're going on for, so... <laughs> you get an extra long episode today, so you're welcome. Remember the orcs and how I had to distract them? Wasn't that exciting? How did you distract them? I pretended I was their god of death and sent them off into the middle of the wastelands. That's right. And do you also remember... Before we reached Enqui, we went rowing on the svelte, past fields and windmills. There were lots of cows. And the sunrise. Do you remember that? Yes, behind the mills. Oh, she's getting it. One last dialogue. And now think about... All our humorous encounters. <laughs> Do you remember that dwarf in the Tash Mountains? The one with the blue beard? He was yeah. funny. And the knight, Bogomil Rathling? The two of them were always arguing. And the grouchy fisherman, and Isida, the gypsy? I liked Isida. I did too. Ah, uh, we were quite an heroic couple. We defied the greatest dangers and saved Andergast. Just you and me. And the Raven. We were the best. You did it. You can fly again. Yes. What is it? I forgot what happened to the Raven. Oh, Nuri. I want to leave it all behind me and start over. I want to fly across the ocean. Chin up. We'll get through this. Bryder and I want to find out what Fai is hiding from us. And once we know that, we'll finally be able to solve the riddle. Is this still about the story of that princess? That was all such a long time ago. What about now? Nuri, I have to know Sadia's whole story. And for that, I have to talk to Master Bodiak. He's the only one who can tell us what Draconia has to do with all this. Only once I understand it all will the two of us be all right again. And we can finally forget all the terrible things forever. I don't see Ulrich at his window. I hope he's here. Man, that was a long, long cutscene. <laughs> wow. Okay, so good. Neri can fly again, so she can hopefully come with us on our adventures. And, uh... Yeah. But I guess we're one step closer to solving this riddle, but kind of not. I don't really know kind of where this is all going, but it is very interesting, and I'm really, really enjoying this story so far. So, anyway, I will see you guys next time on Memoria when we, I guess, we're looking for Ulrich.
to go to Draconia, I think, if I remember correctly. Anyway, I will see you guys next time on Memoria. Until then.